Welcome into Cross Smart Ministry. I'm Laura McFarland and I'm here today with an invitation for you. Who doesn't like to be invited? Well, this is an invitation that means no one is left out. I'm calling today on you to invite you to join us for our fall slash spring Bible study. Those of you who are familiar with Cross My Heart know that we alternate back and forth from the Old to New Testament. So this year we're cycling back to the New Testament and our study will be in the book of 1 Corinthians. This is Paul's letter to that church at Corinth and as was Paul's sort of method of operating, he would write letters back to those that he had visited and those that that he loved and he wanted to invest in. And the church here at Corinth had some issues. They were in, indulging in some immorality. They were not unified. And, and he just wrote this letter really to remind them who they are and whose they are. And as we read Paul's letter to the Corinthians, I think we're going to realize again that there's nothing new under the sun, that all the problems that plagued them then in the first century are still ones that we grapple with and struggle with all these years later in the 21st century. Ladies, I think God is going to use the book of 1 Corinthians to refine us, to remind us of our call to be holy and to live sanctified lives. And most of all, to remind us that love trumps all. The beautiful love chapter, 1 Corinthians 13, is one that we're going to study during this complete look at the entire book of 1 Corinthians, which is really a letter to the early church. Now, if you live anywhere close to my zip code, which is 727, we would love for you to come join us in person. That means you if you live anywhere in Northwest Arkansas or Northeast Oklahoma. We will meet on Wednesday mornings from 9 to 11 a.m. at Camp Salome here in Salem Springs, Arkansas. Now I know a lot of you live in other places, someplace around the world, someplace outside of our state, and you're not left out either. So if you would like to join along, you can do that a couple of ways. You can reach out to me. There's an email address down in the notes below the video, and we can mail you a copy of the book. We use this booklet that's published by Joy of Living. We'll add a link. You can reach them directly, or you can reach me, and, and I can make arrangements for you to pay Cross My Heart, and we'll mail you one. So you can do the study on your own. We have a couple of sweet friends of our ministry that live in Mississippi, and they've been doing this for four or five years. They've become dear friends, and I wouldn't recognize them if they walked in the door, but yet we share about what the Lord is teaching us, and, and I just love that. So you can grab a friend and do those questions on your own and, and study together. You can buy the book and just do it totally by yourself. You can visit our YouTube channel and watch the weekly teaching when it's posted. Lord willing, we'll have the lesson delivered live on Wednesdays, and then on Friday it will show up here on the YouTube channel. You can just listen to the teaching and not do the study, or do the study and not listen to the teaching. All sorts of options. But the email below is your contact if you want more info or if you would like to purchase a book. We also are offering a Zoom group. So if you'd like to connect with women in other parts of the country and, and meet up once a week or every other week to discuss your answers to the questions, we've got you covered there as well. Our desire, as always, here at Cross My Heart is to encourage women to love God and to love His Word. Ladies, as I pray for revival in our land, I am convinced that it has to begin with us. We are, are women of God, empowered by the Spirit of God, and His Spirit will teach us from the Word of God how to live those lives that God is calling us to live. In my book, I've written a verse here on the, the outside of my cover, and often I write this verse on the outside of the cover of the book that I'm studying, just as a reminder. It's from Psalm 119.18, and it says this, Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. And you know, I believe there are wonderful things in the Word of God. I am convinced that whenever we open up the Word of God, 
if we lean in and we pray in as we read and study and meditate on it, the Spirit of God will take the Word of God and stir up our hearts and our minds to, to see what is there, to grab hold, to hold on to it, and then allow it to, re, to be released in our lives, to be released in our words and thoughts and actions and attitudes. And as we live lives that are different, lives that are holy, and that's really what that fancy church up word holy means. It just means different, that our responses are different and our words are different. And we walk in the opposite spirit of the way the, the world leads out. We respond to mean people differently. We respond respond to short-tempered customer service representatives differently because of not who we are, but because of the Holy Spirit that abides within us. The Word of God changes us from the inside out. Being churched up on religion means you try to change yourself on the outside and it never makes its way to the inside. But when the Spirit of God abides in us, the change happens first on the inside and then we work out that salvation as we are changed and refined and transformed. And that, my friend, is a lifelong process. Process. And I believe that God will use His Word to do that. And specifically this year, we think and believe He will use the book of 1 Corinthians to change all of us. As we lean into studying together, we invite you to join us. And my prayer as always is that we will be different women in a few months when we complete this study than we are when we begin. Won't you come join us? We would love for you to. For Cross My Heart Ministry, I'm Laura McFarland. Hope you'll come back and join us for our study in 1 Corinthians this fall.